What's going on everyone, Spencer here, breaking down McDavid's signature warm-up move along with an easy progression to follow so you can do it yourself. Make sure to stick around to the end where I'll be addressing some common mistakes. So the move itself is not very hard, but the speed and execution at which he does it is next level, almost impossible. But of course, we'll try our best. Really, there's only three components to this move. The first is a toe tap. So when he's going full speed, he doesn't do a full toe drag, he kind of just taps the puck with the toe of his blade. The second part is the spin. So once he does the toe tap, he gets the puck on his forehand and rolls it up the blade, causing the puck to spin back. The last part is a slight push forward on the backhand. So together it's toe tap, forehand spin, backhand push. Over and over again in a tight triangle formation. Now it's time to put it to practice. So step one is practicing the full toe drag, starting slow and wide and progressing faster and tighter until you're quickly tapping the puck back and forth. You'll see McDavid doing a very similar move in his warm-up routine as well. And for reference, this is McDavid at what I hope is full speed because I don't see how anyone could go much faster. Step two is the spin. The spin is the most important part, so make sure you got this down. For this, you're gonna start with the puck at the heel of your blade and pull your stick back, allowing the puck to roll up your blade and causing it to spin backwards. Again, start wide and slow and progress tighter and faster. As you go faster, you might wanna start with the puck at the toe of your blade, but again, keeping the same motion. If you see McDavid at full speed, he often starts to spin at the toe of his blade. This little spin move is also a staple in his warm-up routine. Something to watch out for is the direction of your spin. You'll notice that McDavid's spin is forward and on a slight diagonal. You could practice getting the direction of the spin with this variation where you go slightly across your body. Step three is the backhand push. This one is pretty self-explanatory. Just tap or push the puck with your backhand. Again, start big and slow and then progress faster and tighter. The only thing left to do now is put it all together. So toe tap, forehand spin, backhand push. Again, start slow and in a wide triangle and progress to a tighter and faster loop until you're at McDavid's level. Obviously, I don't look like McDavid and I wasn't able to get nearly as tight or fast. So let's look at where I went wrong so you don't make the same mistakes. The first mistake I made was doing it in between my feet. If you look at McDavid, he's primarily doing it outside his blade side foot. So that would be your left foot for a lefty or right foot for a righty. The second mistake I made was the spin. I was going way too horizontal, almost parallel to my feet, whereas McDavid does it on a slight diagonal. And lastly, I had way too much upper body and elbow movement, which if we look at McDavid, his upper body movement is much more subtle and is really isolated with his top hand. So after correcting these three points, I was able to get much tighter with the movement and faster, although still a ways away from McDavid. But there's still one difference that I can't seem to figure out, and that's McDavid's wrist positioning on the spin. So if we look at the blade and puck level, we're pretty much doing the same thing, but our wrists are in a very different position. When he spins the puck, there's little to no break between his forearm and his wrist. But with me, I have this big break, which is typically good, but of course not how McDavid is executing the move. I played with some different grips, supinated, pronated, but I wasn't able to replicate this exact wrist position. If I figure it out, I'll let you know, or better yet, let me know if you figure it out. Anyways, that's McDavid's signature warm-up move. I know with this progression and tips that you guys and girls will be able to do it much better than me. If you try it out, let me know in the comment section down below and leave some tips that may help me or anyone else. If you like this video, drop a like, subscribe, and check this video to learn how to start skating like McKinnon.